on the road here at Fostoria. Tough battle here tonight. Obviously not the results that you wanted tonight, but in the first half, you were able to contain Fostoria in the first quarter, low scoring. Second quarter, you guys started making shots, but the second half, the tables turned. And what a fourth quarter performance that you guys put on trying to catch back up and then at the very end of the game. Well, but, you know, that's one thing I love about my girls. They always play hard no matter what the situation is. You know, we got after it there. Um, you know, we got ourselves down, what was it, six or eight? I think maybe even one time we were down nine, but we battled back and had it within one possession and just couldn't couldn't get a shot when we needed one or couldn't get a basket when we needed one to, to put some more pressure on them. But, yeah, we, we always play hard, and, and that's what I love about my girls. She's a good shooter for us. You know, we just we just didn't get enough shot shots. Uh, our stats had us for 39 turnovers, and that's that's 39 times you don't get a shot. So if we even cut it down to 30 turnovers, that's 10 more shots we get. If we score on five of them, that's 10 points, and we win by four. So yeah, you know, Carly's a good shooter. Uh, she's a tough matchup for the other teams, and, and her ability to slide outside and shoot the threes is a, is a big thing for us. And then she drew a crowd, and Ashley Daniel hit up on the backside. Olivia Bishop got a couple in the first half, and you know, I think things were good. We just got to put more possessions together where we attack the basket and get shots instead of turning the ball over. Coach Mintz, thousandth game for the girls winning program, uh, basketball program here. Alicia hitting that three at the very beginning, breaking that record. First quarter, you struggled offensively with eight points. You got a little better in the second quarter, but still struggled a little bit. But in the second second half, you were able to turn the round and start scoring some points, making some shots. Your thoughts on the game versus Oakwell? Yeah, I mean, um, the, the three at the beginning of the game, I was glad to get it out of the way so nobody was thinking about it anymore. Um, that's why I called the timeout right afterwards, just to get them resettled. Um, you know, after that, I, I didn't feel like we did much. Um, you know, we shot uh, the last time somebody told me we were 16 of like 66 or 67. Um, you shoot 67 times, you got to make more than 16. Um, we just got to learn how to put the ball in the basket. Um, you know, if we do that, I don't think the game is as close as it is, but uh, give it to, you know, Hopewell in that case. They play good defense. Um, you know, they forced us to do some shots and stuff that we are not used to doing, um, you know, in, in that. But, I mean, our defense turned the ball over for them a lot. Um, but when we turn the ball over, we got to put the ball in the basket. I mean, points off turnovers is huge. Um, and if you don't get any, it's, it's hard to do anything with it. So um, we'll go. Uh, we got one day's rest, and, um, you know, we'll uh, – have uh, wood more here on Saturday and go from there.
Uh, it was a lot of weight lifted off my shoulders. I didn't really think that it was going to be that easy. But after it came off, I felt good going into the rest of the game. Uh, I don't think we played the best. We definitely didn't shoot the best. If we would have made all of our shots, we would have blew them out. There was no question about that. Our defense was kind of sloppy today, and I think on Saturday, if we don't pick it up, then it's going to be a tough game.